External hard drive support, custom wallpapers, but no name change sadly. Let's run down all the new features coming to the PlayStation 4 with update 4.5. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to hit the like button. I already discussed in a separate video when I think the PlayStation 4.5 update will hit. And this is really going as planned with the rollout of the new information and the beta invites. So be sure to check out that video to see when this update will likely hit. But for now, let's just cut what will be in this update because it brings some exciting features. Let's start off with one of the most requested ones. I also did a video about what features would we like to see in 2017 for the PS4 and custom wallpapers was really one of them that a lot of people said. And on PS3 this was of course already like the case where you could choose a picture for your own background and now with update 4.5 for the PS4 we can select an in-game image for the PS4 as well. What if you got a bright picture? Well, don't worry because Sony thought about this. They added the function to create drop shadows on the text and dim the function area. So everything will still be visible. With Horizon coming up and there will be a photo mode for that game. I really can't wait to select some of those beautiful pictures as my background. It will be amazing. Another exciting feature is the external hard drive support, HDD in short. I can totally understand that you struggle with a 500 gig launch page PS4 or maybe even the one terabyte versions. I mean, I'm in the same boat and I hate to delete all my games all the time. So to be able to add an external hard drive to the console is just, yeah, great. You can just store all your games on there so that if you go full digital like I do with most of my games, you don't have to worry about the hard drive space. Of course you can already change the internal hard drive of your PS4, it's pretty easy actually. But this way is way nicer to not have to format that hard drive, transfer all the data, blah blah blah. Just plug in a USB 3.0 hard drive and you're good to go. Smart effects as well, you need USB 3.0 according to the PlayStation block. The PS4 will support up to 8TB hard drives in size. But why would you need more? You can download stuff directly to the external hard drive uh, and everything will be on the content launcher as well. So you ha don't have to access another menu, it will just be there on your PS4 like it normally is. Also interesting is that you can't put save files on the hard drive, only games and applications. But those save files are only a few MB, so it doesn't really matter. In update 4.0 the quick menu was introduced, of course hold the PlayStation button and you see this awesome menu, but yeah it covered a lot of the screen. In 4.5 they simply want to make the quick menu not as big as it was before. Sony says the, that the goal is to keep you in the game and not stuck in menus and I applaud that. The notifications will also get an overall in this update, first we saw of course a lot of tabs but now the notifications will be on one screen like it is for many social media for example. But if there is stuff that you don't want to see like the discover thing or something else just hit the option um, button and yeah you can deselect things that you don't want to see. A new interesting feature is being able to post on the PlayStation Network activity feed. Of course the feed was now kind of crazy and never really looked at it. It was like a ton of blah blah blah, Carl played this game for the first time or he got a trophy for this game. But with 4.5 it might be a little bit more interesting to look at this activity feed because we can now post our own stuff like a Facebook wall but then for your PlayStation friends. You can post things like text, screenshots, gifts directly to the feed and also tag a game or a user to make sure that they don't miss a post. This is really interesting stuff, uh, I might do something like this for myself so that you can follow me on PSN and see the stuff I post or that I'm working on a new video and that it will be up soon. Do you think that sounds interesting because I'm, I'm yeah I, I think about this, I, I really want to maybe get into this. Let me know if you would watch that, if you would be interested in that in the comments down below. And last but not least is the 3D Blu-ray for the PlayStation VR. So if you got 3D movies and a PSVR, you can watch the films with your headset on. That's interesting, right? If you want that, yeah, good news. So that's it. Uh, if you got lucky, you can already try these features. I got an email from Sony with a code for the beta. Um, so I can try out the features for the 4.5 update. That's great. I will do a video when the update is live to run through all the new features like I did with the 4.0 update as well, went really well. So I totally want to do that again. Subscribe to stay up to date on that. And yeah, 
sadly no name change I of course um, yeah discuss the rumor but I think that this will simply not be a part of a firmware update right it, it, it makes more sense to just add this separately because yeah it's not really a PS4 feature it's a feature across all the platforms yeah hopefully we will see you doing that I will, I will keep you up to date like the video if you did and I will speak to you next time thanks a lot for watching goodbye